This conference will now be recorded. In this video, we will learn how self-service procurement receiving works. Uh, self-service receiving works. So we need to click on this procurement. We need to go to my receipts and then we need to search the purchase orders uh, or anything if it's due in last seven days, due today, anything. So if we just press search, this we should get the items that we have to receive. So we are not getting anything. So let's see what all purchase orders we have or that we can make any receiving. Go to procurement, go to purchase order, click on this task, and then go to this manage orders. In manage orders, we will see how many orders we have. Uh, okay, let me search from this same buyer, same user. Uh, okay, we have three orders. One is closed and two are open. So let me open this order. Okay, uh, this order is not appearing. The reason could be it's not, uh, it's receiving type is not uh, direct delivery. It should be standard receiving. So let's just check. For self-service receiving to work, we should have either, we should, we, condition should be satisfied. One, it should be, direct delivery second it should be expense receiving so we can just verify from this schedules click on this detail You can see destination is expense, destination type expense. This one condition is satisfied. And then another condition. Okay, this is not satisfying. This was the reason that this purchase order is not appearing in our search for the receiving. So what will I do? I will just close it and create a duplicate order. Or I should copy this order. Just go to actions, duplicate. So this is the order which appeared and uh, here I can just click on this update icon for the lines and conditions that I need to update is destination type is expense perfect and then requester also I can put the name of the user with which I am working. So this is also one of the condition that the requester should be same as the receiver. So if I just search it, I'll get a list. Just pressing OK. And then I should Press OK and go to distributions. Go to distribution. Just before that, go to schedules. Click on update. And see the right, reset routing. I have to do it direct delivery. So now all the conditions are met. My requester is my username. Receipt routing is direct delivery. And the third one is destination type is expense. Now press OK. And then press the submit button for approval. We will have the message that it has been submitted for approval. 163820. Now again from this window, if we search our POs, we will find it pending for approval. It will take some time and get approved. So just press done. Again, click on home. Now we will try to receive procurement, my receipt. If I click last seven days, 
nodes that it found. That means that has not been approved. So meanwhile, let me tell you that this user does not have any inventory or warehouse rules. This is just having the buyer rule and the procurement catalog and etc. This basic rules which we have. If if we have the condition that the client has only procured the purchasing license and he does not have the inventory license, then how he will receive? He will use this self-service receiving, which is not required for which does not require inventory module to be in place, but we can receive only the expense item and the items and the routing should be direct delivery. So again, if I go there and just let's see item due today and I had given any date or not. OK, this is the item and this is the PO number which is appearing. I just click on receive. And uh, we have show receipt quantity. This is the we can hide it for uh, if in business practice. So but if we click here, this quantity will get populated. Otherwise, I could have just given the one quantity and received and I'm just submitting it for receiving. So the you created the following receipt number. Receipt number is this 51471. So this completes our receiving topic and that to self-service receiving. Thanks for watching.